Hey there, this is Fred Pasimo. I'm the host and producer of the Make Money and Have Fun show where I'm sitting down every single week interviewing authors, speakers, coaches, consultants, entrepreneurs, investors, millionaires, billionaires, you name it. We're going live every single week and you don't want to miss an episode. And one of the ways that I'm able to put this show on is through what I use to produce this show, which is Anchor. FM. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest and fastest way to make a podcast out there. Let me explain. First of all, Anchor is absolutely free. They don't charge you a dime for anything on Anchor. So it's absolutely free. There's also creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. And Anchor also will distribute your podcast for you. Check this out. This is so cool. It's one of my favorite things about Anchor. Anchor distributes your podcast to over half a dozen different places where podcasts can be listened to. So you might be listening to this on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, whatever your podcast platform of choice is, Anchor can most likely distribute it there for you. And you can also make money from your podcast on Anchor with no minimum listenership. It's everything that you need to make, an, to make a podcast all in one place. So if you haven't already, download the free Anchor app or Go to anchor.fm to get started. Once again, that's anchor.fm or download the app right on your phone. It's absolutely free, like we mentioned before. And if you want to start podcasting, if you have something to say, if you want to get started with your podcast, if you already have a podcast, this is the best and easiest and fastest option that I would recommend to anybody. Download the Anchor app or go to anchor.fm. What's up, everybody? You know what time it is. You know what this red jacket means. Every single week, I'm strapping on this red jacket. It's like it's almost like my Superman costume at this point, and it is so fun being here. I knew the moment that I started this show, I was onto something. And I was onto something big. Every week, you know the deal. I'm interviewing different, amazing human beings, investors, millionaires, billionaires, coaches, consultants you name it, all the best of the best are coming on this show. And today, I think I might have my best guest yet. Let's get started. My motto in life is make money and have fun. I'm on a mission to show everyone how to make money and have fun. I'm all about making money and having fun. Make money and have fun. There's always an interesting metric whenever I bring my guests on this show. My guests are all specialists in different areas. A lot of them are real estate investors. Some of them are are business owners. Some of them, I even had custom clothiers on here, automation specialists. But the most interesting thing is conversation always kind of brings itself back to making money and having fun. This idea of financial fulfillment, where you're making the money that you want to make in your life, and you're fully in the place where you belong. And as soon as I heard about Austin, today's guest, he told me about his business, his company called Flashpoint. And Flashpoint carried so many similarities to make money and have fun that I was like, man, I got to link up with this guy. I got to meet this guy. He seems like somebody who aligns with who I am and what I'm doing and just someone who I can learn so much from and we can grow together. So let me tell you a little bit about Austin and about Flashpoint, because this concept of Flashpoint that he's going to tell you more about, I absolutely am in love with. So Austin is a turnaround specialist. Uh, He's also a Flashpoint master facilitator who guides others to experience their Flashpoint as well. He's an award-winning author, trainer, podcast host, and coach. He reaches his audiences wherever they are and engages them on a life journey to to propel them forward towards their own flashpoint. Let me just tell you about a couple of these credentials that he has here. So Austin is a 19 year corporate veteran with the same company. Uh, He started at the bottom and became a top producer within, check this out, three years, 36 months. He's a top producer. He was promoted to management. He offered uh, various promotions. He was offered various promotions over the years. This is really cool. So he actually is first place in the story slam speechwriter in Philadelphia 
check this list out. So he was actually trained by Tony Robbins. I think we all know who that might be. Les Brown had him on this show a couple months ago. Stephen Covey and Zig Ziglar. Super, super cool. Must have been amazing people. He's also an ultra marathon runner, uh, 50K or 32 miles plus. And most importantly, I think more than anything else, he is a famous bad karaoke singer. <laughs> so maybe we'll get him to do a little singing for us before the show's over. But without any further ado, I need you to please help me welcome Mr. Austin Haynes. What's up, Austin? Fred. How was that for an intro? How finally happened? How you doing? I'm doing great, man. I'm excited to have you on here. I'm excited to be here, and I'm honored to be on your platform. I feel like I'm in elite company, knowing the guests that you've had on and what you're putting together to make money and have fun. I mean, my God, like it's just – it sounds so simple, but it, it's so important for people to know that that's possible. So yes. Yes. I'm, I'm glad to be here with you. Dude, I'm I'm glad to have you here, man. Like I said, as as soon as we met and you told me about Flashpoint and you threw your glasses on, I'm <laughs> yeah. like, man, we are we are in so much alignment here. I, I gotta I gotta you know pull on this thread as far as it can go. So Austin, I, I want to hear it from the source itself. Tell us who you are, what do you do? Give us a little bit of your story and, and your background. Man, I, I love when people that that's a great question. We we do so many things every when you get asked that question. But my, my main focus, Fred, is to help that individual with create their turnaround story. And that's the genesis of, of the main point of Flashpoint, because people might say, what's Flashpoint? What does that mean? Like, what, what does that mean? I've never heard that before. Flashpoint is that moment when your highest aspiration or your aspiration comes to fruition. And a lot of times when we're on our journeys, we forget that. Because we're, we're caught up, as Stephen Covey would say, in the thick of thin things. We, we get caught up in the minutia of the day and we get lost. We get off track. And I want to bring this message to the world that no matter how painful, how bad your situation is, there's a turning point. And that turning point can lead to your flashpoint. It's the moment when it makes sense. And I know there's a lot of people that are going to listen that maybe searching for that moment. This doesn't make sense. What am I doing? I don't have clarity. And we want to create that moment as you, you do as well, Fred. Absolutely. I, I love that so much. It's, it's interesting because I, I have moments in my life. I call them catalyst moments. And I, I think I mentioned this to you before, or what you would call flashpoints where it's like, Holy crap. I think I've been going the wrong direction my whole life. <laughs> I got to I got to turn around, flip this on its head and and go the complete other direction. And that's really how Make Money and Have Fun was born yes. for me. I mean, you you know a little bit of my story. I started off in real estate. I built an empire that I then burned down very quickly afterwards. And as I rebuild it and climb back up, you know, like we we all have ups and downs as entrepreneurs. Yes. Um I started to look at it and I said, you know, am I really fulfilled here? Am I really happy where I am? And I'm like the money's great. But the fulfillment was missing something. It, it, wasn't, it wasn't all there. What, what I call misalignment. It was misaligned. Yes. And when I figured out make money and have fun, literally, I have it right here. I wrote it down on a post-it note. Right? Yeah. I don't know if you can see that, but I wrote yeah. it down on a post-it note. And those four words were my flashpoint. Right? That was where it all flipped yeah. over for me. It was amazing. Was, and man. yeah, I, I, love, I love the fact that, that that's what you – what you focus on. Yeah. So what do you, what do you believe is one of the reasons why, why people don't often have those flashpoints? Like why, why would someone need you to come and help bring that, that moment out of them? Because let me get a cut right to the chase. I'm going to start at the highest level and then I'll work our way down to what most people do. I, as you, as you learned, I worked with Tony Robbins yeah. and Tony Robbins said something to me that I will never forget. Didn't say it directly to me. I happened to be at an event. He said that he's interviewed 50 billionaires. That's five zero and that's billion with a B. He interviewed 50 billionaires. And in his professional opinion, over 30 years in this space, he said that about four or, f four or five of them are fulfilled. So if you start with the highest common denominator that everyone or it seems that everyone's striving for. I want to be a billionaire as a song. Even I want to be a billionaire. So, right. There's yep. the singing part, but in all seriousness, if only four of those people are fulfilled, then that's why your show is so important. Mm. And that's why it's important for people to realize what, what is it that creates a flashpoint? 
you know, what is it that creates make money and have fun? And I, I think the thing is what, where you're coming from. I have this crazy quote and I always freak people out when I say this, but where you're coming from is more important than where you're going to. Where you're coming from is more important than where you're going to. And, and maybe half the listeners are like, what are you talking about? Like, I, I have a goal. I want to get out of where I'm at. I want to make more money. I want to do all this. And that's very important. But Fred, you know this. If you, if you can't make money and have fun today, right? You, no matter where you get to, you, you may not ever have the, the, the have fun part. You might make the money, but are you having the fun? Are you cultivating the fulfillment that leads to long-term sustainability. And that's what we're both working on here. And that's why it's, it's such a great alignment. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I, I, I love that. I actually didn't even know that. I mean, I'm, I'm a big fan of Tony Robbins, like I've mentioned to you, and I, I read his book where he actually interviewed the billionaires, but the fact right. that only about four of them, which I don't, what's that? That's 10%, right? Not even 9% about 10%. something like that. And, right. you know, just just think about that. I mean, if we extrapolate that, that would say to me, 90% of people on this planet are unfulfilled. Right. I mean, if, if we, if we look at it that way and you know, yeah. what, what we're, what we're doing, I think is, is the highest level work for people, you know, cause it's, it's yeah. in some ways, in some ways there's, there's a low barrier to entry, this, yes. you know, do this and do that. But when you when you niche it down, when you're specific and say, I want to help people find that flashpoint moment, I want to help people, yes. you know, create their turnaround story. Now there's something tangible to it. There's something there. Yeah. So what yeah. what was kind of, I guess, the the imp the impetus or the starting point for you to actually become the the turnaround yeah. specialist? Yeah, I know. I know it's. Let me let me cut right to the chase. I know it. Like I'm on this interview with you, and I got like these accolades, and you know everything sounds great, but like, I just want to let you, the listener know that like, this wasn't always this way for me. And in order for me to get here, there had to be a complete contrast where things weren't good. I mean, I, I said at one point in my life that my life was over and, and it wasn't so much that I said the words that, that I, I truly believed it. I, I truly believed that my life was over at that point. And there was no turnaround that was possible for me. You know, there, there was the flashpoint was like, I didn't even know what that was. I didn't even know that there was going to be some breakthrough moment because I was lost. I felt like everyone was up here and I was down here just embroiled in this psychological uh, uh, battle that I could never win. And so from that place, from that dark pain, this was a long journey. And I, I say, Fred, that um, I took the long road, but I'm still going to arrive on time. And so are you. Mm. That's amazing. That's, That's amazing. I, I, I've always been fascinated with people's people's story at their at their lowest moment. You know, I think that especially being like steeped in personal development and entrepreneurship, people write about all their best times, the best deal they ever did, the first million that they made, you know, the the, the fanciest car that they drive or whatever it might be. But I'm I, I feel more connected, I think, to those people. When they talk about, you know, the day that I had, you know, five dollars in my pocket. I mean, The Rock, The Rock brought in sixty million dollars last year, right? And everybody knows who he is. And he he has a company that's called Seven Bucks. And it was based on this time that he had seven dollars in his pocket to basically live off of. Yeah. And the story that I always share for me, it wasn't seven dollars, it was fifty-seven dollars. So I was a little bit better off than the rock was, but I mean, I woke up in, in Las Vegas, Nevada. I was, I was not gambling. I always have to caveat that <laughs> I was at a seminar growing and, and expanding myself. And I woke up and realized that literally I had $57 in my bank account and to my name. And I think that, and, and I'd love to know your thoughts on this, Austin. I think that people, especially entrepreneurs, they need those moments. Those almost like the, the ships are burned. I'm, I'm sinking in the water moments to kind of uncover that clarity and, and find their, their why and their purpose and just align with that and go from there. Is that, is that kind of what, what you found in your own story or in other people's stories or? It's, I don't want to say it's almost a requirement, Fred. Yeah. If, if you study, <clears throat> if you study Napoleon Hill mm -hmm. and you go deep into the work, you will learn that every 
billionaire, we'll go back to the billionaire again, because it's a high result, has experienced extreme failure. So you, the listener, if you're in a dark place, if you're going through a tough time, if you're wondering how, how to figure it out, like maybe COVID just took everything out, relationships, finances, it's the ideal place to begin again. It's the ideal place for the turnaround story. It's the backdrop for your turnaround story. And that's why I want to reach as many people as I can to, it's not like I'm bringing information that nobody's ever heard before. I'm not some genius or anything like that. But all I'm doing is I'm drawing attention to what you already know to make you more conscious about it. And then maybe, maybe we lock arms at some point and we journey together on this road. Amazing. Amazing. So how would somebody start? Right. I want to, I want to take that person that's, that's buried in the hole right now. They're, they're, they're at, at a low point, right? Maybe not their lowest, but they're just, they're at a low point. What, what would you recommend to somebody if they came to you and said, said, Hey, Austin, I, I need a turnaround. I need to get out of this, this muck that I'm in and yeah. turn myself around. What would you say to that person? That's a great, great question, Fred. And you do it all day long. And I'm going to share it's, it's one of the tenets of flashpoint and, and that is people proximity. It's number one, it's people proximity. And some people do this at a, at an unconscious level. They just know something needs to change. So they reach out, they get to a pain point and, and people proximity will change your life. And that's the first thing. If you didn't know anything else and you just got around people like Fred and you jumped in his mastermind, your life would change. And, and that's, that's the one thing I would leave people with Fred is, is people proximity. Now, of course, there's other processes and, and, and the way to sequence to get to someone's turnaround story. But without people proximity, it's, it's the long, it's, it's the long road, you know, it's, it's the long road and it's my road. I mean, my sure. proximity was very unconscious at, at a younger, younger stage. That's why I admire what you do because you, you know, this stuff, you you've done it and you're bringing it to the world through your, your show, through the mastermind, like you, you're living it and you're breathing it. And it's so, so incredibly powerful. So I would invite people to connect. I love that. And, and the funniest part is I actually did not expect that as an answer at all, yeah. <laughs> but it's so profound. Like, like you said, I mean, for, for me, it's, you know, I started this show based off of the idea that I was like, hmm, you know, I got about a little more than a dozen friends who have had some success in business and, you know, I'm bored inside the house because COVID had just hit. And, you know, that was really it. I'm like, I'm bored. What if I just interviewed my friends online? And that was how it started. And from there, it grew into just finding more and more powerful people. And I tell this story a lot. I'm, I'm almost tired of telling it, but it's worth telling. The number one question I get asked by everybody when they see this show is, dude, how in the heck did you get Les Brown on this show? And my, my kind of funny answer is I just asked them. But the, the real answer is I kind of climbed the tree in a sense. And, and I look at, I look at people or associations as a, as a tree and it's like you, you climb onto a branch and that branch has branches on it. Yes. Right? And so, so I met a person who knew Les Brown very well and I became good friends with this person who knew Les Brown. And then, you know, from there, I just kept climbing that branch. One of the things I, I heard when I was a real estate investor from a good friend and mentor of mine is whenever he was approached with a deal, someone came to him and said, hey, I got this house at 123 Main Street. Do you want it? He always said, I have the same exact philosophy every single time. The answer is always yes until it's no. <laughs> and, I, and I totally live by that. I'm like, that makes so much sense. So literally every deal that came by, he's like, yeah, sure. Yeah. And then you figure out if he actually wanted it or not later on from there. Yeah, that's a, that's a great, great philosophy to have. And you know, I love the fact that you you climb the tree. If you go back to Napoleon Hill, he met he met Andrew Carnegie. If you go to Tony Robbins, he met Jim Rohn. You, the list will never end. If you go back, the first thing that these people changed is their people proximity. Mm -hmm. They'll tell you the, the the tips like I did this, I do ABC because you know everybody wants the how to, and and that will never change. I mean, people will pay billions of dollars in how to, and I'm telling you, you change your people proximity today. Today, you make a phone call, you reach out to me, you reach out to Fred. That is the genesis of anything you want to bring into your life. I promise you from the heart, that's it. 
Absolutely. It's one of the reasons why I converted from one-on-one coaching to doing a mastermind because the power of the mastermind is not me anymore. It's exactly. everybody else at the table. That, exactly. that was the craziest thing. When I started attending masterminds, I realized I'm like, everybody in here is an expert. Everybody in here has something to give, has something to contribute. And especially when, when the mastermind is run the right way. I mean, I'm certified with the mastermind association through Dr. Greg Reed and, and his whole team and tribe, which is again, another association of mine. But you know, when you, when you run it the right way and you give people this chance to bring themselves to the table, you know, a lot of people ask me, how does it work? And I'm like, you, you're coming to the table and you're bringing whatever you have. It might be a problem that you can't solve. It might be a question that you have. It might just be a stress or an anxiety that you want to get off your chest and, and let it, you know, breathe into the air yes. and that kind of stuff. And, and there's a reason that we don't, we don't record the meetings. We don't, you know, put them out live on Facebook because, you know, we're, we're getting in there and we're taking the gloves off. Yes. Yeah. You know, I, I, call it, I, call it, I call it sacred ground, you know? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, totally. totally. It is. Yeah, absolutely. That, that's awesome. Fantastic, man. I love it. I love it. I love it. So I want to kind of roll back the clock a little bit here. You yeah. and I had, the, had this conversation a while ago and, and it's, it's a conversation of misalignment. And I think that a lot of people, find themselves here. So, so you were prior to all this flashpoint stuff, you were, you were a pretty good salesman, right? You were, you were doing some, some sales and doing okay with that. You know what? Uh, I love this question because there's people that are way better salespeople than me. That is not my primary. That's not my sweet spot. However, I got really good at it. You know, the good news is I, I got good at it. The bad news is I got good at it. Why is it bad news? Because it kept me in a, in a career with a, with a really a level of success that most people would, would, they would love. I mean, they would love that. So and everything's perfect. Like I, I don't like everything is actually the way it's supposed to be. I, I yeah. left the corporate job on July 3rd. I couldn't have scripted that, but I, I would say that um, sales is, is a great learning ground, but my, when I took myself through my own program that I created, it's like the blinders came off and I realized that my, my top skills are teacher advisor, mm. teacher advisor. So you could see why I would do well in sales yep. and I, I could have a really good level of success, but there are salespeople that are way better than me. Yep. And, you know, and, and, but I did really well at just by cultivating those skills, you know, in my, in my 19 year run that I had. Totally get it. Totally get it. I'm, I'm very much the same way. I, I realize my, my skill set is one to many as opposed to one to one. And, it, and it's interesting because I talk about full alignment, right? Full alignment is when, is when you're making money and you're having fun. That's, that's the, the pinnacle, the peak, the point that I, I'm working to get everybody towards. And people always ask me, how do you know when you're in full alignment? And the, the funny answer that I give is you feel it. And, and I think that the, the real game here is, is not – it's not trading in your work for play. A lot of people think that that's how it works. It's, you know, I'm going to give up the, the amount of work that I'm doing and I'm just going to be able to play all day. It's not that. It's, it's yeah. trading in the work that you don't want for the work that you do want. And, and you know, it's, it's this game of just successional um, self-awareness, you know, becoming more and more clear on who you are and, and where you fit best. For me, yeah. it's all about taking the square pegs, putting them in square holes and round pegs and putting them in round holes so that they all fit best there. And when I realize that my skill set, my superpower, if you will, is speaking from the stage, speaking one to many, I realize the difference in feeling. But before this, I actually had a direct sales job where I was picking up the phone and dialing, picking up the phone and dialing, right? I, I come in in the morning and my CRM says, you got 37 people to call today, right? And, and I just had this, this pain, right? It's like right in your gut, right below your rib cage, like right in that kind of area, like you just feel it. It's almost like you swallowed a rock at that point. And you, and you just feel this like drudgery. Yes. Yes. So in, in the, in the flashpoint world, we call it, I call it a visceral moment. Mm. Think about the like word that. visceral. The word visceral means every cell in your body tingles. Like that's, that's what you're looking for. You're, you're looking for every cell. And by the way, this isn't a utopia. And by the way, I want to be really clear. Uh, this isn't about destination addiction, by the way. I, I want to be really clear on that. But there's a conscious process 
to create these moments that you're talking about, Fred, where you feel it at a visceral level. I like to say, you know, every cell stands up and goes, Hallelujah. And like, like it's on. This is what I'm looking for, right? Yeah. But unfortunately, Fred, most people are are the opposite. If you think about it, most people are this, you know, they're they're feeling it in their body. I've worked with many people over the years, hundreds, if not thousands of people where you can see it in their face. You can tell by the way they carry themselves. And what you're talking about and feeling it is it's the exact same thing in that you feel it. Like when you're on stage or you're virtually in front of a group, right. you don't need to tell yourself, hey, feel good, right? It's like, boom, the, the feel good is the fruit of what, because you're in alignment. Like you're saying, you're like, everything's in alignment. All the butterflies line up and they, and they fly together. And, and that puts you in a position to serve greatly. Exactly. Exactly. So I have a question and, and I have an answer for this, but I want to hear your answer first. Sure. Why do you think so many people are not in alignment They're, They They come in with this, you know, downtrodden anxiety, stress, whatever it might be. Why do you think that is? Programming. Okay. This is going to get a little deep for you, but yep. programming that leads to rules, parent, societal, in your respective space. If our awareness is lower and our consciousness is lower, we will live out that programming with this gut feeling that something's wrong and we can't quite figure it out. We'll think that it's just a part of living. It's just a part of existence. It is what it is. But on a deeper level, it's the collective consciousness of years and years of momentum of this life is this way. Life is suffering. Life is hard. And I look at it a different way. Life has some hard, tough, defining moments, but life is beautiful. Life is meant to be beautiful. Life is meant to be experienced at the deepest level. It's meant to be visceral. And we, we can be fooled and trapped into thinking it's static. It's hard. It's this way. It's never going to change. It's always been this way. That is a trap that we, we can fall into an unconscious level, Fred. Mm. And that's why right now the work that you're doing and collectively the needle is moving. It's, it's moving. Um, I just did a talk recently for a, a corporation and the fact that I was able to go into this corporation and present this type of content really spoke to me that there's a, a hunger, if you will, that people want this. They want this awakening, even if they're not fully ready yet. And when I say this awakening, I, I don't I'm not paint myself as some like super spiritual guru guy here, <laughs> but I do think that there's a, there's this, I, I, here's my quote. There's a quote, right? People live at the surface longing to go deep. Even when they're not aware of it, they, they want to go deeper and they're just not aware of it. And that's why this, this work is so important. And we must keep going. We must keep going, Fred. We must keep bringing something positive to the world. We must keep doing it. And that's why th this space, you know, I always say this, Fred, if one person listens to this and, and, and something changes, it's a success. It's a absolutely. success. You know what I mean? I, I think you feel the same way, right? Yeah, it, absolutely. It's, it's interesting because... I say it's, it's two reasons. There's two reasons why people don't live in full alignment is, you know, what I, how I phrase it. And what you basically did was you just went deep into why these two reasons exist, which is so cool. So cool. So the two reasons for me is one, they don't identify themselves in a sense, right? They, they can't figure out the thing that they want to do. I always tell the joke, People pay tons of money to these passion gurus, right? I'm going to help you un uncover your why, discover your passion, this and that. And the first thing that, that the passion guru asks them is, well, what do you like to do? It's like, well, idiot, if I knew that, I wouldn't have hired you. Like, you know, what the heck? <laughs> so I always flip the script and I ask a different question. And I say, what do you do? Because I believe that people have spurts 
of yeah. those moments in their life where all of their cells, like you said, come into alignment and go, this is it. We're here. You know, we made it. But the, those spurts are so small and so inner space that we can't really recognize them fully until we, we start to have a consciousness towards them. We start to track our results. I literally tell people, carry a notebook with you for one week and literally like ad nauseum, write down every single thing that you do, Love like it. including the times that you go to the bathroom, that you eat. It doesn't matter. Just Love write it. it all down. After yeah. a week, open up the book with a highlighter, right? I got a highlighter right here and highlight everything that repeats itself. Exactly. Yeah. You know, highlight everything that, that has, that has repeated itself twice or more. And now you'll look at your life and go, huh, I picked up my guitar and played it seven times a day, every day for the past week. I wonder if I should do something based in music. <laughs> you know? And it's like simple stuff like that. The second reason is remember I said there was two reasons. The first reason is they can't identify it. The second reason, which I think is even a little bit more elusive than the first reason is people oftentimes I think recognize it, but have a belief system in their head that yes. says, that says, Oh, you can't make this into a career. You can't make yes. this into your lifestyle. This needs to be a hobby. This needs to be a, you know, a fun thing, not, not your living from yes. it. And that I think is the, the scarier part of it. Yeah. And I'll, I'll go to my story. Yeah. Uh, full transparency. I didn't believe in myself, right? That, that's the truth. I, there was a gap. It wasn't so much. I didn't believe that that was like, that that was possible. I didn't believe in myself. Sure. You know, everyone was here. I was down here. That's the way I lived most of my life. Right. So I was constantly behind, constantly going. That's where I was coming from. So it didn't matter where I went. It didn't matter what information I got. It, it wasn't going to change until it went underneath the surface to start to consciously realize there's nothing wrong and elevate that belief. And it's the only reason why I'm here right now. Otherwise, I wouldn't be on the show. I mean, this this moment right here with you is extremely valuable to me exactly. because if people only knew what it took to get here, this isn't like I just, oh, let's, there's a journey that got me here. Otherwise, I'd be, I'd be still working somewhere. I would never know you. We'd never have this conversation. Had, yeah. I, not, had I not said, <clears throat> I'm going to change this. Like this feeling that I have is not my birthright. This is not it. Like there's more. And I'm going to dig. I'm going to go deeper. So I love those two things that you just mentioned. They're so spot on. And and that's again, that's that's why we're doing this. And I love Woo! <laughs> to you, brother. I love it, dude. I'm so excited to have you here. And again, it brings back a testament to, like you said, people proximity. If you yeah. and I didn't go to the same event, we never would have met. You know, it's it's so so intertwined. I love it. My friend Brandon, who's a Top, unbelievable guy. Uh, maybe I have to connect the two of you. You'll, you'll love him. Sure, absolutely. He's actually in the book, too. He says, show up. Show up. You showed up to Atlantic City, didn't you? Yeah. Right? You showed up. I showed up. What if we said, no, I'm not going to show up today? We wouldn't be a different story. We wouldn't be having this conversation. That's why, see, when, you are in, when you're in flow, like Fred's talking about, you, the fruit of it is I show up. The fruit of it is I make, meet Fred. The fruit of it is I'm on his show. You see that? It's, it's just that simple. And then Gordon's been on uh, my show. He's in the book. Yeah. You've Gordon's been on a good friend of mine. Yeah. Yes, too. I mean, Gordon's is, actually in my mastermind as well. Gordon's a rock star, man. He really is. He's awesome. <laughs> but yeah, I love, I love that idea of just showing up. And, and here's the funniest part, and, and you'll recognize this instantly showing up when you're fully aligned or, or, you know, when you're in your flow, it's, it's not a hard thing to do anymore. You know, exactly. I, I tell people all the time, I'm like, I'm like, you know, if, if you woke me up from a drunken stupor and told me I have to go give an hour and a half long speech to a cold audience out there, I'd be able to do it in a heartbeat. You know, I, I don't even have to think it through. I'd be like, all right, let's do it yeah. you know, and, and make it happen. And, and, you know, it wouldn't be my greatest speech ever, but I'm sure that I could captivate and capture that audience in my story and bring them along with me because that's where I belong, right? That's the place where, where I live, you know, and, and it's funny. I run, I talk to now, I actually, this evening at 6 PM, I'm going to talk to affiliates, other salespeople that I'm, I'm basically teaching them how to sell. And I'm always fully transparent. I'm like, look, not all of you are going to be able to do what I do. You know, if you're great on a stage, go be on a stage. If you are scared to death of being on a stage, maybe you want to write blog posts. Maybe you want to, you know, 
uh, record a, a podcast, you know, by yourself in the basement and, you know, send out the, the audio later. Like it's, it's all about going where you fit at that point. And, and at that point showing up is easy. Yeah. Right? Or, or it's not easy. It just feels easier. Let's put it's, it that way. It's a natural progression of you make money and having fun. Exactly. So dude, you, you brought it up. I want to, I want to talk about your book. You just oh, yeah. did a really awesome thing, man. Tell us yeah, what you've got going on with this. Yeah, this is a flashpoint. Your turnaround story starts here. Uh, 12 incredible stories and the lessons learned. Uh, Gordon is in this book along with 12. Uh, actually, there's 13 people in the book because we have a bonus section at the end. Hmm. That this is on wellness. I have a 35-year uh, tenured person, Dr. Grant. And anyway, we added that as a bonus because we care about people's wellness. Uh, so far, Fred, the feedback that I've gotten from this book from avid readers, amazed that they couldn't they couldn't wait to get into it, and they mm. couldn't put it down because the stories the stories in this book are so. These people are amazing. The, the fact that these people put their stories in this book, people like Gordon, is humbling to me. And to be able to put yourself out there is so empowering. So these stories are incredible. And it's all about the turnaround story. It's all about that. This whole book was structured that way to, so that you as the reader can pick it up and start to get your turnaround story. And the other thing I'll tell you, we added a journal section in the back too. Oh, so cool. We're not just giving you these stories and leaving you on your own. We're actually, we have things in the back of the book. They're called journal prompts and it's for you to start your turnaround story instantly because there's no delay like we want you to start today we don't want you to wait we know there's more for you i love that i love that it's amazing amazing you brought 12 people together to to tell these amazing stories um so how can people get get a copy of your book i want a copy <laughs> well i have hard copies right now uh, we we're, we're selling the hard copies in pre-launch for 15 but we're doing a big big launch on april 9th we're going to start friday at um 6 p.m. on Friday, April 9th. And we're, we're asking everyone, we're going to do a flash a flash sale, pun intended. We're going to sell the ebook for 99 cents mm. because we want to get it out to the world. And then we, we, we still have the hard copies. And I can get somebody a hard copy if they want it. Uh, so we, we can get those. They're $15. And I can, you know, somebody wants that, let me know. Sure. I know Gordon has some of them. I'm, I know you guys share some of the same audience. So you can, you know, you can get a copy of it for sure. That's awesome. That's awesome. What was it like? I guess uh, I'm going to kind of leave this as a vague question and let you answer it how you will. But what was it like for you bringing these 12 stories together? I mean, just reading through them, hearing them. What, what was that moment like for you? Life changing. Mm, I bet. Because like I said in this, like when, when you go into someone's story, to me, it's sacred ground. It's their experience, the trials, the pain point, what led to the turning point, you know, what, what kept them going? How were they able to figure this out when, they, when things were hopeless? And the stories in this book, some of them are going to bring you to tears. I mean, they're so impactful. I got chills just thinking about it. And bringing these people together for me was, it was a sacred experience for me. And I, I'm changed because of it, Fred. Amazing. Amazing. Dude, that's awesome. So anybody out there that wants a book, hang yeah. out with us on April 9th, man. He's doing a, a flash uh, sale for Flashpoint Books. <laughs> yeah, if you want, I'll give I'll give one away to one of your audience. Um, Ooh, you, how about we give it super fun. We give it as a gift. Like you if you have somebody that you want to give it to, I I'll I'll send it out to you. If you if you know somebody that you'd like to give it to, maybe there's a listener, you want to do a little thing right now, or somebody ask them a question or do whatever, and then we can give them a book. Yeah. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff. We actually have a couple of comments on here. So Gordon, Gordon's been hanging out with us for a while. He said he, he likes that. It's hundred percent true. That was a little while ago. Uh, we got Tony Marie, Hey Tony, Gordon again. We got all kinds of fun people hanging out with us on here. I have to figure out how do I want to do a giveaway for this book? All right. I'm thinking of a number between one and a hundred. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Take us all day. <laughs> I got a story about that, actually. But yeah, go ahead. Yeah. So here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking. So next week, for anybody who's who's here with us that's listening in, 
Next week, I'm actually doing a giveaway on this show. So once a month, I'm, I'm starting a new thing. We talked about my mastermind earlier, right? My mastermind, I'm giving away one free month in my mastermind. So it's normally it's $500 for, for a month in the mastermind. I'm giving it away for free to one person. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to register in an application. So let me actually pull this up real quick. So I just have a quick form for you mm -hmm. to fill out. Right. If you fill out the form, that, that lets me know that you're entered, you're registered, you're in on this giveaway with us. Right. And then from there, I'm just going to do my thing next week on my show. Uh, it's going to be April 8th. So next Thursday, uh, one week from today, I'll be I'll actually be sitting down with Chris Noggle, who's a, uh, a money guy. So that'd be really cool to do that. But I'm going to be giving that away. And you know what? I'm going to throw in one of Austin's books, too during that giveaway as well. So I'll tell you what, Austin, I'll, I'll give it away to people next week. So I'm going to drop this form in the, oops, in the comments for everybody and uh, just wait for it to load. My computer wants to be extra slow when I need it to work for me. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. In the meantime too, um, if they go to that um, Austin's 360, there's a, another thing we're giving away is the, um, the road trip I did. It's nine questions to identify or remove limiting beliefs. I traveled the United States in 2020 and we did this uh, mini course. It's uh, 10 minutes a day over 11 days. And, and uh, it, it was just an amazing experience. That's so. awesome. That's awesome. I love it. Yeah. So go to Austin360.com to find out all about Austin, all about all the cool stuff that, that you got going on. If you look in the comments, whether you're joining us on Facebook or on YouTube, you'll see I actually just put a form in there. And if you fill out that form, you're going to be entered into our giveaway next week. I'm giving away one month free in my mastermind for anybody who wins. And here's the other cool thing. If you actually win the one free month, I'll credit you the $500 if you choose to continue. Just, just throwing that out there. So it's, it's kind of like a double whammy there. And I'm picking a second winner next week to get Austin's physical copy of his book, Flashpoint, Your Turnaround Story starts here so we got two giveaways going on next week so make sure you're hanging out with us next week and by the way gordon just jumped in he said the mastermind is gold it will change your life and really i think that's true of any mastermind any any mastermind that that does it right that brings the right people together in the right room it just it clicks at that point it's austin's uh one other it says an s in there there's a ah. secret, there's a secret s in there <laughs> let me let me edit it for you yeah, it's send them to the right link. You're, yeah, I know. It's like, you know, you, you, people like it. You're the production team, the video, right? The camera. Yeah. Guy. <laughs> I, put a, I put a post up on Facebook yesterday. You'll love this. I said, solopreneur is euphemism for salesperson. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, while, while we're building it, you got to do what you got to do, right? It's business, right? Otherwise, it, it's a charity or a business. So, you know, yeah. we, we, want it, we want the business part so we can do more charitable stuff. I mean, it's basically exactly. how it works. And, and for me, it's all about the vision. I mean, come back here in three years and, and I'd love to have, you know, a team of half a dozen people in the background putting all this stuff on and I'm just sitting there happen. giving the gold. I love happen. it. So Austin, what, what is the next big thing for you? What are you up to now? You know what I'm passionate about is obviously we're launching two other book series. We're going to do the health turnaround. We got the underdogs diary. So the books are, we're going to do multiple volumes of these books. But what I am excited about, my sweet spot, is the live event that I run called uh, Flash, the Flashpoint Live Experience. And we're going to be doing our third version of it on July 9th, 10th, and 11th, right here in the Philadelphia area. It's a virtual event, and it's also in person. Uh, that, that's what I'm passionate about, Fred. I, I love hosting and, and providing an experience for individuals. Flashpoint Live Experience, July 9th, 10th, and 11th. And we're going to have some very special things uh, planned for that. So that's going to be super cool. I, I might have to uh, make a little guest appearance at that one. There bring, you go. bring my red jacket around. <laughs> there, you go. there you go. I love it, dude. That's super cool. So that's amazing, man, dude. I am so excited to have you on here. I think that, man, we talked about some amazing stuff today. This is, this has been absolute fire, absolute gold with you. Austin, how can people get in, in touch with you? How can they contact you, reach out to you if they just want to say, Hey, or if they want to ask you a question, if you go to that Austin's 360.com, everything is there. You can schedule an appointment. You can get the free gift. You can look at the event. You can get everything right there in a nice, neat. That's why I use that because it's people can get confused. Like, where do I go? What do I do? It's a nice, neat wrapper. 
You can pick anything that's relevant for you and your turnaround story. Because what I say is that every time I speak or anytime I do anything, what is your next step? Take action, you know, get into Fred's mastermind, uh, go grab the free gift, go sign up for Gordon's fitness class, do something right. That, that's what I care about. Fred is if somebody takes action, that's what I care about because mm. if they sit and they're stoked, provoked, and they do nothing. It's the law of diminishing intent. And then they're right back next week or next month and nothing's changed. They're entertained by it, which is great. We love to entertain, but we also, what makes it more valuable is when someone takes action and says, I did it, Fred, I heard your show. And I, I, I just went, and I started looking out and writing down everything that I like to do. That's the messages that we want. That's where it makes sense. Otherwise, who cares, right? If it doesn't have an impact on you, then who cares? Like, it doesn't matter. So please take some action, do something. Mm, I love it. I love it. Austin, before we go, you've, you've dropped so much gold already. Is there any closing words, words of wisdom, pieces of advice, or just anything you'd like to say to our audience before we go today? Uh, well, number one, flashpoint, your turnaround story starts here. And I took the long road and I'm still going to end up on time. And so are you. So I want, I want to reach out to you, that one person out there that's going, I don't have this all figured out. I'm confused, but I know beyond a shadow of a doubt, I want my turnaround story and I want it now. I've had enough. It's time for me. It's my time. What do I do next? That's the person that I'm looking to connect with Fred. And I want them to connect with me so we can get started right away. Your future does not need to wait another day. It's right now today. Let's do it. I love it, man. This has been amazing stuff. Austin. Thank you so much, brother. You are the man. Thanks for being here. I'm so glad to have you. Thank you. For for everybody who is tuning in with us, we will see you again very, very soon. Remember, next week, double giveaway. One month in the mastermind plus Austin's book. Make sure you're there so you can get the giveaway. See you guys next week.